Now, after you've got your plain iron, more or less as sharp as you would like, there's one thing that I like to do after it's been sharpened. And that is a little bit of a leather strop. Now this is quite obviously homemade. It is just a piece of leather glued on a board that just happens to be the right length that when I put it in here and bang it down it doesn't slide around. You can nail it to a board, you can clamp it, you could sit on the damn thing on a chair if you wanted, but that's it. Take a little bit of a little bit of glue and glue a chunk of leather. You can use a belt, you can use whatever you want. Slide a little bit of this green stropping compound on here, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your iron just at a slight angle and you're going to pull it towards yourself and you're going to do that 20 times 30 times pick a number do it until it's nice and smooth then you're going to turn it over you're going to do the same thing you're going to lay it down you're going to bring it up till it just comes flat and you're going to pull it towards yourself Now more than likely, on this cutting edge, when you finish on your, on your stones or your sandpapers, whatever you've got, you're going to have a small burr on there. And you will remove that burr as you strop. But what else I tend to do is if you look on the side of this, all those little black marks on the corner, I just take the cutting edge and just really softly pull it across that wood grain and that just peels those burrs right off and then I'll give it a couple more passes on the strop and it's ready to go a couple more on the back side not pushing terribly hard Let me do this like this, so you can see what just happened here. So when I, see if I can do this one-handed. When I push this down, in the same way that the water shot out before, the leather squeezes around that end. I'm on the bevel. That's too high. See the gap? That's where you want to be. And put that back on its little holster there and we'll pull that together that's it that is as sharp as I have ever needed to get a piece of tool steel to do just about anything <laughs>